Hi, I'm going to show you how to connect Wootrick and Salesforce, uh, Salesforce together so that when an event happens on Salesforce, a survey is sent to your customer through Wootrick. So imagine as a company like PayPal or, or for that matter, any, any company who wants to get feedback from their customers uh, because they recently opened a support case or like whatever, you know, they want to fire a survey through Wootrick. Uh, in this example, I'm going to show you how to uh, send a survey through Wootrick for a support case. Um, so in that case, I'm going to uh, Salesforce setup and I would look for uh, outbound messages. Oh, sorry, not the monitor, my bad. I'm going to we'll go for outbound messages. <clears throat> And here I have already created uh, some things uh, so for the sake of demo. But let's see. So I have a one outbound message configured called video demo, obviously, where what I did was I gave it a name. I copied, I needed to copy this URL. So I'm going to be flipping uh, back and forth uh, between uh, Salesforce settings and the Woodrick settings because you need to copy paste some value from here and there and vice versa. So to get this URL, you go to your um, Salesforce settings. So on the settings page on Woodrick, you go to trigger surveys, trigger surveys from workflows in Salesforce. Um, and depending on what you wanna do, in this case, I'm going to show an example of email survey. So I would copy this email survey URL uh, some of our customers do SMS. Some of our customers want to force a user to be surveyed in app next time they log into their dashboard. So there are various URLs that you need to copy. But in this case, we're going to copy this um, email survey link. So I'm going to copy that and I switch back to Salesforce. This is where I paste the URL. I want to send the session ID. This needs to be checked because it would trick needs to verify it would need to verify that the, the data is in fact coming from your Salesforce organization. And here I pick and choose what fields I want to send. So in this case, I have decided to choose case number, contact email. Obviously, you need an email um, um, because you want to send the email survey. Contact phone is optional. If I don't want it, I can move it back here. And I'm also sending the case priority and subject. So these are the fields that will be sent to that will be sent to um, Utrik instance, and this outbound message is tied to an event. Uh, it's called NPS on case closure. Uh, actually, this is a CSAT on case closure because we are sending a CSAT. It doesn't matter; you can name it anyway. But I didn't want it to confuse you. So this is CSAT on case closure, where I want to send this survey when it's. Um, you know, whenever case is created and changed afterward. And I want to narrow it down to people who are, whose um, email addresses have Gmail in it. So let's say I just want to survey my free sort of customer because they are likely going to use gmail.com or yahoo.com email address. This is just an example. So what I have done now is I have configured a basically a workflow rule and tied that to outbound messages. And this is how Salesforce knows through this URL that it needs to send some payload to Wootrick to trigger surveys. On Wootrick side, uh, after I have copied the URL, I wanna configure how those uh, fill names on from the case object show up on Wootrick. So I'm gonna do some mapping here so this is on case object, obviously. So this needs to be the internal API name of um, Salesforce object. This um, this uh, object could be a standard Salesforce object like case, contact, account, opportunity, lead, uh, and everything like that, as well as custom object that you may have from different packages or you may have created yourself. Uh, here is an example to sticking with the case scenario where uh, you know this is how you get the name of the object. This is how you get the the API, the internal names of the fields that are being sent to Wootrick, right? So in this case, uh, as, as, you, as we saw here, um, you know, these are the, my bad, these are the fields coming to, um, uh, these are the fields being sent to Salesforce, the case number, contact email, and all this stuff. Uh, so here you see, um, 
basically here I specify which field uh, uniquely identifies an user a user so this is a contact email address in this case because that's what uh, holds the email value and optionally this these are all optional but I want the properties from case object like priority and case number to show up in Utrik so I'm gonna just define this so the property filled in a case object is going to show up as case priority on Woodrick side and same thing for case number and uh, subsequently I can also customize the subject line for the email as well as the as well as the body of the email so in this case I want a subject um, email subject to be feedback for case number so you know, this is very specific that we cost that we customer has context into what kind of survey they are receiving and what they are responding to so this is fairly straightforward Salesforce service way where you basically define the object uh, which is triggering the survey what's the field uh, for email survey for SMS obviously it will be phone number and some optional property mapping now once I have done it if I were to go back to um, Salesforce um, if I were to go back to Salesforce and open a case uh, in this case, um, uh, the case belonging to user which name which email has email in it. So in this case, I'm, I'm sending myself, um, you know, this this contact name is tied to my Gmail address. You can see here. So I'm, you know, whenever I open the case and if I were to close the case, uh, this will of and this will let's say performance um, save. So this will fire a you know an, an API call to the Utrik to the URL we configured and which in turn will send me an email survey which will I will respond so you may have seen in my other screenshots before this is this is the email I, I, I get you know so here is the uh, subject feedback for uh, case number this is this was the case number and you know we are demoing this PayPal example here so let's say it's PayPal logo is there and question is how satisfied are you with zoom support zoom is obviously a division of paypal so sticking with that example you see it here and it's a standard csat survey once i once i click on this score i'll go to the standard survey flow uh, and in a in a in the moment you click on it in the few seconds uh in a couple of seconds the data should uh, be visible on your uh, utrick dashboard so this is the snapshot page if i were to go to feedback uh, this is the email that was received sent today uh, and I responded to just a while ago and you see this is the feedback I gave and if you look at the hover over the contact you will see the case priority was set to high this is the case number because this is how I configure the trigger, trigger mapping to show up not only that this 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 property will show up on the segments and filter side here so in this case I can I can uh, see that these are the cases that has been sent and this is the priority so if I were to just see what are the CSAT scores uh, for uh, Salesforce cases which are marked with high priority uh, you know I will see all those stuff and obviously there are medium priority low priority so you'll be able to segment and everything down the road so this hopefully shows you how to configure once you do it for one object it's very easy to do it for multiple objects and you, you can have many objects uh, tied to the same Utrik account. So if you want to send a survey from case object or account object down the road, uh, then you should be able to connect that. Uh, hopefully that explains how easy it is to connect Utrik and Salesforce together. Um, thank you.